You know what's always annoyed me about being Australian? How you Everyone do that? Around... Bro, how you do that? That that's crazy. You look very pained. I hope you're okay. On the world keeps making fun of us for it that we don't have the ability to shoot fast projectiles out of a moving vehicle. <laughs> but today I finally can, as Clash of Clans asked me to make this expo from the game that can shoot a two kilo arrow over 600 feet all while moving on top of my car. Oh. All right, it turns out I'm not the first to do a sponsorship for Clash of Clans. And ancient civilizations like the Romans and French copied their expos from the game and made oh, them yeah, out is of that how that worked? primitive technology. But they had a funny way of pronouncing expos. They called them bli blisters. And I was going to copy their designs, but as far as I can tell, they were really, really tiny. And I want something bigger and more impressive. Also, I've decided <laughs> I'm not going to copy anything about their designs, as the Romans were all idiots. And I've got something <laughs> they didn't. Access to spear fishing stores that stock overpowered rubber bands made in factories in Shenzhen. The Romans did, however, have access to beards and massive parties, which I don't. So we'll find out if that affects... Oh, it. yeah, that looks like a fucking party, man. Everybody, everybody... Yeah, that looks like a fun party. That party, quote-unquote. So this is the plan. The rubbers will run along the side of this square tube, and I'll have some bearings on the front, which the rubbers will come over and then get pulled to the back with a winch, which has a quick release, which I made in my last video. Now, the point of these bearings on the front is that if I just had the rubbers tied to the front of the expo, they would only start providing pull force to the arrow here. But with the bearings, you can pre-tension the rubbers and allow them to speed up the arrow until the very end of the muzzle. So we should get more power, but I also don't know. So the first thing I did was turn down this big block of aluminium in the lathe and cut it into these housings for the bearings. Aluminium? Which are less comfortable than the houses they are used to living in. But now the bearings... The way he says aluminium makes my fucking brain... It tickles my brain, bro. Bioshock 2 made me cry tears of joy, hope. No, sadness. Oh, sorry, fives. Nicely fit the rubbers. Then I just put them onto the side of the rail. Next, I attached the winch on the back. And I went for a hand winch, as it feels more historically accurate. And I like the noise it makes, and being able to feel the tension of the rubbers getting harder and harder to pull back. And the suspense of each click bringing me closer to the rubbers snapping. That's my kind of man, liking the way the clicky sound is. That's me too. I like the clicky sound it makes. I'm taking out my eye. Which I just wouldn't get with an electric winch. And you've probably noticed that the frame is already painted. And you haven't actually seen me weld anything together or make anything. I'm just re-welding over welds. And you know in that previous shot of me turning down the housing for the bearings in the lathe? That was a lie as well. And it was actually just a can of beans in my lathe. And I just lied to you again. <laughs> it wasn't even beans. It was actually a can of tomatoes. But why do I keep lying to you? And you might be thinking I'm doing this because I don't want to show you, you the Gucci? horrible conditions that the three children that actually made this frame work in, but that's not it either. It's because making stuff like this always takes so long and is relatively boring. So my mate and I actually made it all of this and just didn't record it. Yo. And now in an attempt to make this whole video longer and show the process on camera, I'm just doing extra unnecessary work. So next, I just pretended to do some more welds. <laughs> and now comes the really hard part, where I need to pretend to make the whole bottom half of my frame that attaches to my car. Which that doesn't look safe. It doesn't look safe at all. You know, Fives, I've learned from watching this man. I've watched, I, I like, two videos of his now. And thank you, thank you to Dutchie in chat. Fuck, this man don't wear shoes. Like, does not wear shoes. Like, doesn't wear shoes and fucking drinks and eats paint One and glue. Made Rowan already made. And now it's done. Well, functionally done. It needs Where to are your shoes? Please put some fucking shoes on. Put some fucking shoes on, bro. Your toe, you got me concerned for your toes. Okay? Look more like the expo from Clash of Clans. But first, I really wanted to do some test shots to find out- Why are his feet black? Bro, it's probably fucking dirt and grime and fucking dust because he don't ever wear shoes. And he works- he does shit in a workshop, bro. I guess foul. <laughs> out if this even works. In my yard, in the middle of a populated suburban city. And for anyone that's, oh, that's about so to smart. write a comment, getting angry at me that I'm testing- Hey, it's the mannequin again! Oh my god, look at the creepy mannequin in the back chat. She died in the last video. He shot a spear right through her chest. 
blister in a populated area, let me just remind you that I have a ballista that may or may not work. So we decided to test it first with one rubber in an attempt to build up suspense. But first, to build up even more suspense, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the sponsor of the video, Clash of Clans, and the ongoing of- We're going to skip through the sponsored section chat, I'm so sorry, we're just going to- we're going to zoom right through. Everybody here has played, or has heard of, at very least, Clash of Clans. May have played. Don't know. Vent, ace, and attack, stop. It's almost re- My last video, removing four. You just- Tesla and other prizes I can now. Ah, here we go. Back to the ballista. <laughs> I would have laughed Ready? if it would have spun and hit him. One. That sucks. And that was not very impressive. So we put on another rubber, and I also forgot how to do counting. <laughs> Oh, you played Clash of Clans for a bit? I did too, like, way back when. Um, I don't think I've actively played Clash of Clans, uh, in, like, fucking, like, four or five years now. How few still use the laser musket in Fallout 4? I've never played any of the Fallout games either. Yeah, he's gonna put on another rubber. Ooh. How's that? And that looks significantly quicker, which is good, as it's going to be even faster with a third rubber. So we put. Oh, he's putting on another rubber chat. He <laughs> he, giggle go. Blushies. And also attempted to shoot it through the chronograph so we can get some speed readings and then compare it to the Romans. And we can also compare it to the speed of the Expo and Clash of Clans, which looks like it's going very fast. Cringe, no you. You're cringe. Woo! That went fast. And that fast. was way slower than I was expecting. The maximum speed we got was 20. That was slower. That looked fast as fuck to me. What do you mean that was slower? Two meters a second. And apparently the Roman ballistas could shoot a 400 gram bolt at 90 meters a second. The bolt that we're shooting weighs two kilos though. So I cut it down so it weighed 400 grams and gave it another go, which might make it five times faster. And Yo, my that... first shot was 36 meters a second, but I think I know how to make it faster. You know what I said earlier about Romans- Why do you need it to be faster, bro? It's already fast as fuck. You mean you posted it on a few hours ago on- A few hours ago on Discord was from Fala. I'll have to look again. Having an advantage because they have beards and engage in other activities. So I thought my mate Rowan should have a shot. He's very focused- <laughs> He's very focused on the fact Romans had beards. I love it. His mate Roman's gonna give it a shot. <laughs> Put your face shield down. Thank you. And Rowan's was suspiciously faster than my shot at 38 meters or 130 feet per second. And that's not 90 meters a second fast like the Romans, but it's still pretty good considering the Roman ballistas that achieved those speeds had a draw weight of 5,000 pounds, while our Expo's draw weight is only around 500 pounds. Don't ask me how that's possible. I really don't know. But then I realized something. How did the Romans know how fast they were shooting? Yeah. They didn't have chronographs. Yeah, how did they know how fast they were shooting, huh? Huh? Or Gavin from the slow-mo guys. So I think all the Romans were lying. And the same with the French. Especially the French. <laughs> okay, now it's time to Fuck make this French. look like the level 10 expo from Clash of Clans. Which we did by covering it in foam. And this may surprise some of you, because you're stupid. But these limbs here don't do anything. Neither does this foam on the front. Or this aesthetic string. Sorry, that does. But now you're probably <laughs> looking at this and thinking, Alex which is my name. Oh my god, please launch me out of it. It'd be a fucking fun ride. It'd be hella fun to be launched out of it. It'd be like, maybe it'd be like a roller coaster, you know, you just get launched and then crash. It'd be so fun. 
This looks a bit like the level 10 expo from Clash of Clans, but how is it going to shoot magical bolts and auto lock onto targets and then auto reload like in the game? Well, it's not. That wasn't in my budget and also that's impossible and you were just going to have to play the game to see that happen. It will hopefully still shoot and look really cool though. Okay. Oh, I'm sure I it will. My neighbors are preparing for siege warfare, so it's time to take it out to Hamilton's farm and do some real tests. Also, this is obvious, but anyone watching, especially people living in Syracuse in the 4th century BC, don't put an expo on your car or try any of this at home. And we're going to do a couple of different tests. That warning, that war it's so sad that he had to include that warning. You would think people would know that, but, you know, you know, my experience with the internet tells me people wouldn't know that. <laughs> Oh my god, the warning. Don't try this at home, kids. It's like a penetration test on this car door that I stole from an undercover cop car. And also shoot this <laughs> historically accurate Spartan suit of armor. Hey, yo. Armor. He's got his whole fucking dumpy out. He got everything out and a swinging. That was an awful per. Never do that again. <laughs> <laughs> and this armor is a good test, as in the game, the expo can be used against troops like Pekka, this giant guy in a suit of armor. Then we'll have a distance test and an oh my God, he's test, a and bozo. then finally a drive-by test. And whoever gets the most points wins something. I haven't decided yet. Uh, Ron, do you think we should do a range test first? Yeah, that's See good. distance? Yeah. Okay. It's a good way to lose a bolt. Yeah, but then at least... And then we only have to shoot two. Yeah. It's perfect. It's, it's great. And also, if we do a destruction test first, we might up the bolts. Yeah. We might destroy them. Oh my god, his apron, um, his apron that he is wearing looks so disgusting and crusty. Blech. I was going to say we can have a competition, but it won't really be a competition because it's just going to be who can wind it back the furthest and tilt it at the lowest angle. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's do it. Okay, first I wanted to know how far it can shoot. Oh my so god. Loaded... Oh my god, he's wearing shoes, chat. I'm so proud of him. Character growth. He's wearing shoes up the small bolt to do a distance test. Oh, I'm pretty... Oh, face shield. That's what I f***ing forgot. I almost brought some fencing helmets. Maybe I should put this on. Oh, shit, then I can't see. Nah, you put it on. No, I'm not putting it on. Okay. It's gonna keep my face away from it. Okay, so he's... He's, he's grown to wear shoes. But now he's also uh, not wearing face protection for this. So... He, he he took a step forward and then took like three steps back. I was proud of him for a moment. Oh, he just lost that bolt. Rest in peace. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. The fletching was weird. And that acted really weirdly in the air with the duct tape fletching that I put on. And also one of the rubbers snapped. But even with that, it went over 120 meters or 300 feet. Oh, so we they put found on it. another rubber and took off the fletching and tried again. I arrived to crotch cannon. Hi, Yomi. Welcome in, Yomi. Yeah, he put a, he put a ballista on his car. I'm so proud of him. He's had character growth this stream. He's put on shoes. Oh my god, mods. Can we get a shout out for Yomi, my beloved? Three, two, one. No grippers, how dare. I just gotta pause for a second to say how satisfying the sound of him shooting the ballista sounds. The bolt leaving the thing makes my, makes my brain incredibly happy. Hold on, I need to hear it again. Ah, oh, it's so good. I love it. Ah, oh, it's good. I love it. And I thought that flew a similar distance, but it turns out it flew a lot further at around 160 meters or 520 feet. But Ooh. that was measured by my steps and I am slightly biased. And also the steepest angle I could get the expo to was like 15 degrees because of how I attached it to the car. So if it was at 45 degrees, the bolt would go much further. So now we're going to try the expo up against some targets and see what it does. I'm going to build one of those designs to yeet a zero. Oh my God, please. I wonder how far I would go if somebody tried to yeet me out of one of those. 
isolate that sound and soundboard it. Oh my god, that's actually probably a really good idea, Yomi. You so smart. Good night, Ironhide. Thank you for stopping in. Have a wonderful rest of your night. Goodbye. Mwah. And Rowan was up first. Oh. Ah! <laughs> yeah, it's comfy up here. Let's see our point system we're going for here. What's oh, worth the most? Yeah. So there's three of us shooting. Yeah. I think if you pierce the armor, you get three points. Yeah. If you just pierce a mannequin, you get one point. If you miss, you get minus one. And if you get through the car door, four. Okay. It's a really so weird point shoot. system. What were those points again? Point. <laughs> that was a really weird point system. Why did you lay it out like that, my guy? Also, they're hella fucking brave for actually doing this on top of a moving vehicle. I'm too I'm too scaredy cat to do <laughs> to do dumb shit like this. There's no it can't hit me if you aim it down at me right now, right? Huh? What are you aiming Don't for? point that at people, bro. He's going for the door. Yeah, he's a four pointer. Or well, maybe I want the Roman. I don't know. There it is. I have no idea. Three, two, one. One. You know what, Yomi? Me too. I'd be so scared of that thing, like the band snapping and smacking me. And he didn't account for the drop of the heavy bolts and shot low in between their legs, so he's on zero points. And next was Alexa. Can you open this door? My lady. <laughs> Miss, uh... <laughs> Yes! That's exactly what I wanted. This feels amazing. Yes. Damn! He got that fucking dumpy though! <laughs> He's caked up for days! What you doing caked up on a random Friday evening, sir? Feels so good. You feel so good too. Oh. And I feel awesome just being at the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Loading. I'll go record. I feel so powerful right now. I'm gonna go record on this guy. Don't. <gasps> My dumpy does have competition. No. What are you going for? Uh, I think Alex. Dutchy, how fucking dare, bro? How fucking dare you? How dare you? Go, go, go. This is it? Go, no, go, you can go more. Go more, more, more. Okay, you can stop. Oh. Three, two, one. <laughs> <gasps> he pants the mannequin. Flat panda forever. No. He pants the mannequin, bro. He took his fucking drawers right off. What does that count as? What the fuck? I took his pants off. <laughs> I got him. I did exactly what I wanted to And somehow, Alexa took the guy's pants off. And I don't even know how many points that is worth. Probably nine. And now it was my turn. And I was feeling the pressure to hit something. What angle were you shooting the ballista at? Don't tell yeah, I'm not telling. You work it out. You build the thing. I don't know what I'm aiming for. Oh, uh, it's okay. Still got it. <laughs> Dropped his trousers faster than a thirsty nun on Saturday night. Bro, <laughs> I'm weak. Oh, this Springs. Okay. Can you go further? <laughs> nice. Sorry. You're sabotaging me, Rowan. Oh, what? Did you lock it in? <laughs> zero, minus one, minus one. He didn't even make and it, bro. The rubbers broke, and it didn't go very far. So I was on minus one. Okay, so after Rowan and I spent an hour retying all the rubbers, we moved the car closer and had another shot. Okay, I'll go for man. No, I'll go for the car door. No, I'll go for man. Three, two, one. Yay! Hey, it bounced Whoa. off him. Holy shit. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> what? It, did, it didn't hit right on though. <laughs> it just flew with yeah, that was gonna that's gonna destroy your windscreen if it flies off. And that bolt hit sideways and bounced off. And this is all very hard. I'm starting to think it that his arm, and though. blisters aren't the best siege weapons, or I'm just horrible at making things. And unlike the game where the expo automatically locks onto enemies, we were having trouble hitting anything. So I moved the car a little bit closer. Bro. Bro. 
Look how chipped up the paint is on his car, though. I wonder how much dumb shit he's put his car through. <laughs> oh, yeah? And you think you're gonna be able to hit it now? It's like fucking shooting fish in a barrel, bro. What are you doing? I worry for his car. Count us down. I'm so worried for his car. Two, one. Oh! Hey, he did whoa. it! Straight through! Mate, um, Alex, amazing aim. Thank you. This is all we had to do. I from that boat. I know. Oh my god. Yeah, don't touch it. You know what, Yomi, you're so fucking right. For that, the bolt bounced back last time, you could gore yourself. This dude's got me scared for him and his car. Jesus Christ. Imagine he fucking misses again. That'd be so embarrassing for him. I was, did you aim for his heart? Uh, kind of. And that was pretty impressive oh. damage. It only stopped because the bolt got wider and it almost went all the way through. Broadhead into him? Yeah. It'll absolutely go through that one. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. So then Hamilton's mate had a shot at the car door. You winded it all the way back? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm so worried for them. They scare me. Hey, good job. Woo. Did you get it? Yeah. They went in. Maybe. Oh, whoa. Oh, what? Holy sh... Dude, that sliced through so easily. Oh, dude. You know, like the Look at that. The way oh, just, just like a... Peeled it up. Peeled it like sides? a can. No, just one. Oh, it must have hit this and then pushed Down. pushed up. Damn, that's crazy. Holy shit. Now it was Hamilton's turn to shoot the Santa guy. They're shooting him with no dignity. His pants. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Holy <laughs> Left his pants down and everything, shot him with oh no dignity. Oh my god, in the heart again? <laughs> He's got a spear to stick it out. <laughs> hey, you went all the way through, good job. Okay, now we know that the bolt would do some serious damage, but we still don't know how easy it is to use while driving. So I tried that. Yep, yep, whenever you're ready. Yeah, drive slowly next to them. I won't point it at you boys. Thank you. I feel like they need to have everybody stand the fuck back for this. This is scary. They go back close to him. And that was ridiculously hard to aim. So I tried again. Yeah, that looks like it'd be hard as fuck to aim, bro. Yo, these guys got me scared for them. And we couldn't find the bolt in the long grass, so we formed a search and rescue line. And besides finding a body that Hamilton had buried on his farm earlier, we couldn't find the bolt. <laughs> <laughs> but luckily on the way back, Alexa stepped on it, which is great, as now Hamilton won't die while mowing his lawn. Oh, jeez. Okay, we were getting pretty bored and sunburnt, so we told ourselves that this was the last attempt. That went deep into the grass. <laughs> Here we go. Get him, Alex. Yeah. Hey, yeah. good job, GG. In the neck. Oh wait, I don't need to keep driving. <laughs> Hey, he did it, congrats. And that was extremely fun Applause. to shoot. Applause. And, do 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 and do as do. for which one of us wins my made up competition, probably Alexa for taking the guy's pants off. And there you go. I think I did a pretty good job of replicating that expo from Clash of Clans. And mine actually had enough power to even take down armored troops from the game. So go download Clash of Clans right now and scan my QR code and join the event. Yeah, to not only no thank plant you. Trees, but also potentially win a Tesla and other prizes. Tesla? We can win a Tesla, chat.